Generic greetings and welcome back to Prison Architect. In the previous episode, uh oh, problems specifically over here, even more specifically to do with uh, climbing over the wall. We had a total of was it three escapes? If we go to grading, we see there are two escapes. That's not that's not too bad. Um, what happened was there was a bit of a blitz out attempt. I suspect it was the instigator, but it could have been via other means. Obviously, they've been planning away and plotting, and then those people in the holding cell, all the high risk prisoners, combined with this cell here banded together and then started rushing out. As you can see, there are a lot of them now. Well, they're all just sort of, um, all just sort of, uh, cuffed up and stuff. We're just going to get rid of the paramedics because uh, they've fully healed everybody there. And, uh, yeah, they started running for the door. There was a couple of, well, lots of tasers, lots of fighting. We called in some, some riot police because we knew that they were probably going to get out. And, in fact, they did. They got to here. They flung over the rope on the, on the wall and then climbed up and over. That was two of those. Then these three people here were getting close before we did manage to deal with that. So that's a problem that we're going to have to address sooner rather than later. And I'll, I'm pretty much going to sort it now by going to materials and brick wall and then um, doing this. Now, as I said in the previous episode, I wasn't very, I wasn't really disappointed that it happened because I really wanted to see the uh, the wall climb. I want to see. I wanted to see it. And uh, now that I saw it, it's like, yeah, that, that's good. But um, our job, after all, is to prevent them uh, <laughs> escaping. We have to keep them inside the facility. So uh, I'm going to do all I can to uh, do that. But it's nice to see that, that does work and it's another way for them to escape. What we need to do eventually is to probably put some uh, maybe armed guards around here or something like that. But that'll apply suppression effects. If, actually, you know what? It doesn't really matter. Let's just go over to staff and armed guard. And what we're going to do is go for... Uh, we're not going to do anything because we haven't finished this thing here. Let's go to guard locker and then we'll place it there, we'll rotate it around, then we'll place it to there, and um, that should probably do as if we go to there. I don't think we'll need much more than that. So currently danger level is increasing. Uh, a lot of them are um, shackled in their cell or in solitary. Well, that's sort of the point you tried to escape. In fact, I'm get betting, um, yes, three in solitary, 60, <laughs> 62 are awaiting it. Hmm. That's a problem. I thought this was more than enough solitary, but I guess not for that sort of thing. So if we go over to our policy, we can see that if you do all of this stuff here, you get put in solitary. We're going to probably change that up. So for attacking um, a prisoner, we'll say lockdown. For an escape attempt, solitary destruction, we'll say lockdown. Oh, no, I think, I think solitary there. It makes sense to be that. But what I'll do is reduce the number of hours. Oh, do I? Um, certainly reduce it there by a little couple of hours. There we are. Um... Yeah. Now, murder should carry the maximum... Well, not the maximum sentence, but one of the highest grade of sentencing. Um, that's fine, that's fine. See, destruction, two hours, I think. There we go, that's a little bit better. So that should hopefully... Um, Alter that in the future. Obviously, whatever's been, whatever they've been assigned to now, they're just going to go there. We can early release them if we want to. We can say end punishment if we wanted to do that, which I'm probably going to go ahead and do because I think we need to uh, free this one up just a little bit. If they if they're in here, we'll get rid of them. Um, actually, I could probably should really probably check to see if they were worthy of um, remove uh, being a CI. I don't think worthy is the right term, but anyway, so this is our cell, as you can see. And what we're going to do, we're going to add in the toilets, and we're going to be adding in the bed, and then that is all we're going to add for the time being. Once that's built, we'll go ahead and then just clone it all the way to the top. Obviously, we then need to put some water in as well, which is something we'll be doing now. So I think we'll put the water in, I think... Uh, see, if I put it there, it's... No, it wouldn't connect up, so that's fine. So we'll connect it up like so. Actually, that's going to be more efficient. Then a large water pipe will be coming up and across and then up. And then we'll run it across like the uh, the rest of it. And then all we'll do is we'll just run cold water, uh, two pipes up. And that should be able to get both the left and right. Obviously, if we want to put other things in here, so things like um, showers, we can. This should be okay. If we want to put in, um, I don't know, sir, some other grading stuff so all different types of things so you've got you got TVs radios bookshelves you know chairs office desk all that sort of thing we won't be able to put we oh technically we can put windows on the outside we can put it there and there but we're not so uh well we might later on we'll see how it goes so we'll just wait for that to be completed and obviously then the uh then the cloning will begin 
and then these prisoners will be moved over to there. Obviously, in order to make sure that these are secure, I'm going to hire some more guards. I'm going to hire... Um, oh, look, good grief, look at that. So all these guards... Not <laughs> Good to see all them working like that that quick. So we're going to hire uh, two more, th sorry, three more armed guards. And what we'll do is we're going to have an armed patrol. And we'll have an armed patrol probably... Do I want them just to patrol around the outside? Each one patrolling around the outside? That would... That would make sense. Um, obviously, we also need snipers as well. Now, I don't know whether I've unlocked that. I have unlocked guard towers, yes. Um, I haven't unlocked legal prep nor small cells, but I uh, don't have the money to do that. The first time ever that we've uh, really been in want for money. Anyway, so that's going to be sorted there. Now, let me just go over to the cloning. So, that'll be quick build, clone, and I should be able to get the lot here. Uh, that is correct, I can. Oh, hang on, we've got a bit of a fight over here. Is that someone trying to... Oh, no, it's Lee. Okay, fine, we'll just forget about those. Um, and, obviously, the shouting for water and other things. So, um, what's the best way to clone this? Is it that? And then we just click it there and there. Um, there and then there. Is that correct? Uh, it's looking okay. Yes, that is all right. And if it's not, we can always redo it. Right, so we'll... Ah, oh, we can't connect that up there. Now we can. I don't think I'll have access to that. That might be a problem by putting it in the center. We'll see how it goes. And obviously water pipe will also run up to there. And on the other side to there. And that should be more than enough to uh, get this thing going. Looks like they are... I don't think there's access there. Why not? It does say there is access. They're heading there. That's fine. That's fine. So, 18 grand a day. Uh, that's fine. That's good. And we've got an OD there, but it looks like immediately they've been taken. Yeah, they're getting... Are they getting taken? Don't know. There's more fighting. Who's that now? That's Cheetah. Yeah. What I'll do, I'll go over to Informants, and you can see we've got lots of traits there. Nothing dangerous, as far as I can tell. So what we'll do, this is Trolley Car Steve. We'll recruit informant. What we're going to do, any other, any informants that we can recruit, we will recruit. Primarily because they get them out of here and also they might be uh, useful later on. There we go. So you can see it is trying to still fill to capacity. We do have a maximum capacity of 28. Um, I need to set this, however, as um, max sec only. So we'll do that and then that will probably alter uh, the amount of prisoners that we're going to get. There we go. And with us now having this here, this holding cell, it does mean that obviously we've got um, some nice overflow stuff. So that's good. Happy about that. It was about time we got that done and uh, what we have. So as you can see, we've got an armed guard patrolling around there. I'm going to do a shakedown. We haven't done one in quite some time, so I think it's going to be worthy. I think it's going to be a worthy thing to do. Let's hire some more guards. Obviously, spending a lot of money on guards and such, but uh, needs must. Uh, daily cash flow is down to 16 grand. I'm going to get rid of... Do I want to get rid of some staff? I don't think I do. It's a bit overstaffed in a couple of areas, but you know what? More walls, more bars, more guards in this case, I don't think is a, is a problem. Um, we've still got our... Oh, is that a tunnel? It is a tunnel. It's not a big one, but it was tunneling to the side, so it looks like they were going to gonna group up there. Meal quantity and variety is medium on both. We could reduce that to... Uh, to... We could reduce that to save some money. I could also give them a pay rise of 10%, and that should make them a bit happier. If we go over to needs and staff needs, there is some needs, but I'm giving them a pay rise... Over the odds. Will uh, help. Staff morale is quite high, so that's fine. Automatic doors, I think, are going to be the way forward, and I think I need to put them on, uh, in here sooner rather than later. Problem is that they're all on the outside, so it's going to take an, uh, take an age to, to sort out. Um, I want this area here to be free-flowing, so I'm probably going to put a, a door there and there, and then just open this up. Or do I want a door? Um, actually, maybe a door is better because then if there's any problems, they, you know, they're going to have to try and smash a door in. So, yeah, that's fine. So, we're going to put some automatic door openers and this should massively reduce the amount of workload of the guards having to come and open and close things. Don't really need to put it at the back there because everybody that goes around there will have keys. 
so that's not an issue. Uh, we did originally have a deployment around here for a gal, but quite frankly, it's so useless that I'm just going to get rid of it. There we go, and um, I will prioritize all of this, and I'm just going to turn off that shakedown because it's not happening now. There we go, and that person, for some reason, is assigned to a cell they shouldn't be because they've not been changed. Thank you very much, game. Um, so it looks like a lot of those are going to be going... Uh, back to their cells. As you can see though, prisoners minimum security, which one of them was in there, uh, that does say uh, 63 and we can have 64 capacity. We've got normal security 32, we've got 33 capacity and then maximum, there's your problem, 51 and a maximum of 46. Protective custody 1 out of 10. So it's not an ideal solution. But it's a lot better than what it was. Just checking along here to see if there's any other potential CIs, which there are. Um, smelling tunnels around here. That could be a legitimate tunnel, that one. So I'm gonna um, just going to recruit these informants and then I'll move over. There's combat wars. We've seen them before. So we'll recruit all those informants. I think that's another potential one there. Um, so that's Ice-T uh, ice Drank. <laughs> Austin Ice-T Drank Terror. Prison number 59. Five three zero seven five. Hmm. I could go with an iced tea right about now. Sadly, I have a lemon tea. So what we'll do is just check. No other traits. Some traits, but not that I'm nothing that I can see. Look at all the informants. That's quite a bit. In fact, it's multiple pages. First time I think that we've actually had that. So I want to go over to remove tunnels and get rid of the tunnels over on the right hand side. So we do have a legitimate bit there. And what I want to do is uh, I want to, oh yeah, that's definitely a tunnel. Search so going all the way down there. That is a tunnel. But I don't think that, I thought it was there because it was this bit. I don't think it is. What it's, it's probably going to be from wherever the dog last sniffed. So I reckon it's this one and it's dug down. It's going to go across and then down there. That's what they're probably doing. So I'm going to search toilet. Um, oh, I guess it's searching the toilet on everything. Okay, well, that's, that's going to happen, I guess. So you can see that these are without power, which is a bit of a problem. I'm going to connect that up manually. Um, actually, I think you need to go... I think it needs to go over them like that, I'm pretty sure. So we'll do that and that, and actually those are automatically, they're already connected. So maybe it isn't that way. It can probably work as long as there's adjacency, but you know what? It does flash there, and the other one works, so I'd rather go ahead and do that. So we've searched here, it hasn't found anything, so I'm going to dismantle these toilets, because quite frankly, I'm still not convinced of their, of their legitimacy. I mean, they're a legitimate toilet. Nobody's trying to claim that these are not toilets. However, uh, we are claiming that there is a tunnel. And with it smelling all the way along there, we'll see if it sniffs, sniffs it again. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, I thought it was from that one. And there's that person. Going to stop. Looks like they're not um, working with other people. So we'll cancel. We'll, uh, we'll probably cancel that other one. And although it doesn't look like... There we go. It doesn't look like it's cancelled, but now it has been. So we'll remove those. We'll go to remove tunnel, we'll get rid of that. Just checking over on the right hand side. That has been removed and obviously we do need to just put that floor back in like that. Okay. So, that's all done there. I'll wait until this is sorted. You can see they're all they're all just clearing the tunnel there. Oh dear me, that's another death and that is a janitor. Murdered by who? Well, that's just lost of the law. Yeah. Murdered by a prisoner. It says to do store janitor in morgue. Was it though that person? Destruction, escape attempt, attack staff and prisoner, no. Attack staff and prisoner. Serious injury. So who Who's the who's the murderer then? Murder. Sean Comrie, prison number 2491178. Okay. Nothing we could have done about that. Um, ideally, what we want is only have then. Ah. There's, there's an issue. I wanted to set that to minsec only. However, if I do that, only minimum security prisoners can work in here, which means only though, only though they can only service this room and this room. Actually, I don't even know if the service the in here. Because these are set to be done by other people. So, yeah, I, I don't know. Um, yeah, these these are set to be um, accessed only by the 
that are the appropriate grade of prisoner. And what on earth is going on today? Another fight there. That's Armand. No, it's not. It's Patton. Um, no traits, as far as I can tell. Um, yeah, no reputation. Yeah, if that's not a question mark on his reputation. Yeah, he's got the extremely deadly trait. He has to have the extremely deadly trait. Four people in one go. Actually, I don't know. It's one, two, three people. It has to be extreme. It has to be deadly or extremely deadly. One of the two. This is the thing with high risk prisoners: is that uh, they're not. No canteens accessible by the cell. How is that the case? Oh, because you can't pa go, you can't go past that. That's a problem. Now it should be fine. There we go. That's okay now. So, I'm running electrical cables. I'm going to now also run some door servos connections. There you are. And that will now function. So we'll be able to go back and forward. So we've got several in solitary, a couple still awaiting. Um, what I'll do is just again check the informants, potential CI. I'm not going to get Patton as a, as a CI, that's just not going to happen. Alright. So that's been removed over there, that's been fixed over there, so we should be alright. When in doubt, always double check, remove tunnels. Blam, nothing. Okay. Just also want to check the deployment for the armed patrols. That's still around there. We've got them around there. Um, my original intention was to try and have it so we're not using a lot of armed guards. But quite frankly, with the prisoners that we've got, it's becoming an issue. Oh my good grief. And the armed guard here has been... <laughs> Lee again, man. Um, yeah, what's happened is Lee has broken out of his cell, attacked the armed guard, taken a set of keys and then running off. To, I wouldn't say to his credit, but um, what tends to happen with him, he, he does he sort of minimum, he's extremely strong, tough and volatile, but he, he's not deadly and he doesn't seem to attack people and constantly attack them until... Well, it goes over the top, basically, and, and, and kills the target. What tends to happen is that uh, he starts attacking, gets whatever he needs, which in this case is keys, and it's always been keys as far as I can tell, and then runs out. That's that's always his MO, which is an uh, inter interesting one. Anyway, so guard tower, uh, one, two, um, three, four, because, quite frankly, I think it is worth it. And we'll unpause that. We'll actually got a max speed, I think. And what we want is to have some snipers. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. And that should be enough for this area. And that should hopefully, hopefully, stop the uh, the assaults there. So I'm going to leave it there. Next episode, I really want to start focusing on this kitchen and canteen. I really want to start doing that. Actually, what I want to do as well is not allow um, the not allow the prisons to go up and down here. So I'll put in some doors there, 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 and there, and do that sort of thing. Um, probably won't put any servos on that because I don't think it's needed. The only people that need that would be the would be the guards because they'll be walking up and down. They have a key. Work workers shouldn't shouldn't go that way. But we'll see. We'll see because you know you know what the game can be like at times. Right. So we'll leave it there. Next episode, hopefully, we'll be able to get this up and running. What I also want to do is have this area done. This is going to be a, uh, not a protective custody, but it's going to be for legendary prisoners. So we are of ones that we deem to be super max, uh, including legendary, and then we'll um, split this up, and then we'll put them in here. We might make these a bit bigger. Originally, I said I wasn't going to do that. Originally, I said that the idea was just to have it so they are like that size. Um, and I could, if I wanted to, 
have a cell like that, or we could have a slightly different grid. Um, I'm leaning towards, quite frankly, just having it like that. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Um, but we'll see how it goes. As always, hope you have enjoyed the video. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.